Dear parents, students, teachers, alumni, and well-wishers of Good Shepherd School, I feel privileged indeed for this God-given opportunity to speak to you on the occasion of Christmas. Gifts are an expression of our love to one another and on Christmas we celebrate the greatest gift given by God to all mankind. As the Bible says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus, our gift, came into this world in the most humble place, that is a lowly stable. Through Jesus, God paved a way for the salvation of all mankind, from the punishment of sin. He bore our sins on the cross of Calvary and made us free from the bondage of sin. So the message of Christmas is really the good news of peace and goodwill to all men on earth. In this joyous season, our good shepherdians are bringing to you some programs presented to exhibit the God-given talents and to entertain us. Let us all share the spirit of Christmas by sharing the love of Christ and to bring hope into this world which is surrounded at present by so much gloom and despair. May God bless each one of us with his peace and joy. I wish you all a very happy Christmas and a prosperous new year. Today, I am privileged to introduce our chief guest, Padma Sri, Dr. Maman Chandi, who is not only really well known in India, but also all parts of the world. He has made a lasting contribution in the field of medicine, especially hematology. He was the head of hematology in Christian Medical College, Velo. He became the pioneer in developing the field of hematology and bone marrow transplantation in India, which was started as the bone marrow transplant program at Christian Medical College, Willow. In order to honor his contribution in the field of medicine, Dr. Maman Chandi was honored 
the prestigious Dr. B. C. Roy Award by the Medical Council of India in January 2019. Dr. Maman Chandi also was awarded Padma Sri for his contributions. After retiring from CMC, he has presently joined as the director of Tata Medical Center, Kolkata. We are honored to have him give us the Christmas message. Children of Good Shepherds School in Kurenur. Your principal, Mrs. Shanta Bose, has asked me to bring you a Christmas message. I am Dr. Maman Chandi. I am the director of a cancer hospital in Kolkata and I am happy to bring you this little message for Christmas this year. All of you know that Christmas is a time of giving. You receive gifts and you believe they come from Santa Claus. But mostly they are gifts which come to you from your parents who love you and therefore like to give you something which you like to have at Christmas time. What does it mean to give a gift? It means that you are willing to give something to somebody else which will make them happy. And that is what we try to do at Christmas and not only at Christmas but throughout the year and throughout our life. If each of us tries to give a gift to others and to God, what a wonderful place our world would be. So you know that at Christmas the Magi came and brought gifts, expensive gifts, to give the baby in Bethlehem who they knew was going to be the king, who they knew was sent by God. They gave gifts of frankincense and myrrh and gold. So I want to tell you the song that you sing at Christmas called The Little Drummer Boy. And the words go like this. Come, they told me, a newborn king to see. Our finest gifts we bring to lay before the king. So to honor him when he comes. Little baby, I am a poor boy too. I have no gift to bring that's fit to give our king. Shall I play for you? Pa rum pa pum pum on my drum. Mary nodded. The ox and lamb kept time. I played my drum for him. I played my best for him. Pa rum pa pum pum. Then he smiled at me, me and my drum. So this is only a song, but the song has a message. And the message for us was that this little boy, he didn't have any great gift of money or wealth to give to the baby at Bethlehem. But he had a talent, and that talent was the ability to play a drum. So he decided that he would 
gave that gift of his talent to the baby in Bethlehem. He would play his drum. So children, as you think of Christmas and as you think of receiving so many gifts from all those who love you, think of the greatest gift that God gave to this world. The baby at Bethlehem who grew up to be a man and died on the cross so that we can be brought closer to God. And that was the gift that God gave to us at Christmas. Just receiving gifts is not enough. They will never bring you the joy that can come when you give a gift. And as this little story and carol of the drummer boy tells us, if we give our gift of our talent, our skill, our ability to God, then God will smile at us because that is he wants us what he wants us to do to love each other and to share the wealth the bounty that he has given us with others so i wish all of you and your parents and your brothers and sisters and the teachers at good shepherd school and all of you a very happy christmas and may you keep the meaning of Christmas throughout the coming year. Thank you. Christmas greetings and New Year wishes to all watching this program. We have now come to the end of another year. In a few more days, it will be the year 2022. It is natural for each one of us to hope that the next year or the future will be better and more blessed than the previous one. To some extent, this depends upon ourselves. After we have done our part, be assured that God will take over the rest. Now memories are always precious. They sustain us and give meaning to our lives. I'm sure all of us, our old alumni, will remember the Christmas celebrations at Good Shepherd when they were students. The image of Bosa playing the keyboard Training the school choir for hours together is unforgettable. He did this because he wanted to obtain a certain amount of perfection. And this was because of his zeal and uh, passion for music. I'm sure all the old students also will remember the singing at the morning assembly. Among his most favorite songs, two of them still keep ringing in my ears. The old rugged cross and precious memories. December 25th is also the death anniversary of our beloved Bosa. It is a remarkable coincidence that God took him away on this day when people the world over will be singing carols and hymns to praise God our Creator. Music was indeed the heart and lifeblood of Mr. Bose. Now coming to the present Christmas 2021 is also a very memorable one for us. 
because we are delighted and privileged to have my brother Dr. Mamman Chandi give us the Christmas message. Now Dr. Mamman Chandi is a well-known person and does not need any introduction. I only wish to add a few reminiscences of the past. I still remember my brother as a brilliant, active, sincere and sympathetic youngster. Even in those days, he showed care and concern and this care and concern was not only limited to the family members but it was extended to friends, relatives and neighbors. As an aside or by the way I would say that even the very hens in our backyard benefited from this healing touch. Eventually, the healing was not only physical, but extended to the spiritual and emotional. When he was a medical student at CMC Velo, I still remember one of my cousins who was there at that time telling me, that tall, handsome young man in a white coat, is he really your brother? I don't believe it. This remark itself speaks volumes for Dr. Maman Chandi. And now it is, uh, we can easily realize and understand how uh, he gradually developed this excellence in the medical field. To conclude, I wish Dr. Maman Chandi and all our family members, the staff, and students of Good Shepherd, a very happy Christmas and God's blessings for the coming year.
Around 2000 years ago in Bethlehem, a city in Israel, a star appeared in the night sky announcing the divine incarnation of the creator with the power of the Holy Spirit. His name was Jesus Christ, who came down to earth to save all from their sin. We proudly present before you the birth story of the savior of the world. The Lord is with you. What manner of salutation this should be? Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son. He shall be great and shall be called the Son of the Highest and the Lord. God shall give unto him the throne of Father David. How shall this be, saying, I know not a man? The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Be it unto me, according to thy word. By knowing that Mary is pregnant before their marriage, Joseph was minded to put her away privately. Fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to his hometown to register. So Joseph also went up from Nazareth in Galilee to his hometown Bethlehem in Judea with Mary who was expecting a child. While they went there, the time came for the baby to be born.
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have an everlasting life. Jesus came to the earth, lived, died for your sins and resurrected to heaven. His promise is to come back and receive those who wait upon him.